So let's move up to the first floor from the basement. I'm gonna stop on the stairwell here, I'll show you this. This is dehumidification intake air. So air is going in here from the first and the second floor and that satisfies the entire building above us. Let's work our way, finish up the ERVs. So ERV supply is over my head here in the kitchen. That's the only one on this floor. It's a relatively small space. And if you look on top of the bathroom door, you'll see a transfer grill with sound attenuation in it. So this door is going to be closed most of the time. So the air passes through that transfer grill, mirror image on this side. The exhaust port is in the bathroom. That goes back to the ERV and then outside it's running 24 seven. This place is a super comfortable space to live in. All right, so let's continue on the makeup air for the range hood. So over my head here, we've got the exhaust port which will be connect to the actual range hood. It's rated at 300 CFM. So why that's important is because building science professionals tell us that two thirds of that air volume should be at the source. So we've got our induction cooktop right here. We've got a custom grill made. So that will actually provide fresh air in. It's coming in here, it's going out the exhaust port. The remaining one third or 100 CFM is over my head here to balance out the room pressure so we don't depressurize the structure. And keep rolling. So the last fun bit of fresh air into this airtight house is we've got a PAX Focus fireplace here. You can see over my head the chimney that goes up and out through the roof. Here's our mounting plate, but this is our fresh air intake here. So again, when the fireplace is activated, there is a wall switch. It's manual in this case because we've got a wood burning fireplace. So the homeowner will turn on a wall mounted switch. There is a damper, low voltage damper in there. So that opens and it allows combustion air for the fireplace to balance out the room pressure so we don't depressurize this space until the fireplace functions as designed. We've got the Dura Rock, the steel studs and the rock wall insulation behind this to meet fire code. And so that, is, that has been prepped and we're ready to go. We're, we're gearing up to insulate this place with Timber HP. Uh, timber fill will be installed. It'll be dense packed in all the wall cavities. If you recall, the roof assembly was done a couple of months ago. So we're excited to uh, get finishes installed in this ADU.